Is joint pain stopping you in your tracks? Let's dive into how to treat pseudogout and calcium pyrophosphate crystals for real relief. Hello, I'm Dr. Siddharth Amber from Chicago Arthritis and Rejar Medicine, expert in rheumatology and Rejar Medicine. Here we focus on advanced evidence-based treatments for arthritis and joint health to keep you moving and living your best life. Pseudogout caused by calcium pyrophosphate dihydrate or CPPD crystals can be incredibly painful and disruptive. Today, I'll explain what pseudogout is, why it happens, and most importantly, how you can treat it. We'll cover medical, natural, and lifestyle approaches, all in a straightforward way so you can take control of your joint health. Let's get started. Pseudogout, also called CPPD disease, happens when calcium pyrophosphate crystals build up in your joints. These crystals can irritate the joint, causing swelling, redness, and pain, much like gout, but with a different type of crystal. The most common areas affected are the knees, wrists, and shoulders. Unlike typical arthritis, pseudogout flares come and go. So one week you might feel fine, but the next you'll be in significant pain. It's a frustrating and often misunderstood condition. Symptoms of pseudogout include sudden swelling and redness in a joint, intense pain that makes movement difficult, warmth over the joint similar to an infection. Doctors diagnose pseudogout by examining fluid from the joint under a microscope. If they see calcium pyrophosphate crystals, it confirms a diagnosis. X-rays can also show calcifications or calcium deposits in the joint. Now let's talk about how doctors treat pseudogout. For acute flares, the goal is to reduce pain and swelling quickly. Joint aspiration. Removing fluid from the joint helps to relieve pressure and reduces the crystal load. Steroid injections. Injecting a corticosteroid directly into the joint can provide fast relief. NSAIDs, over-the-counter options like ibuprofen or prescription strength medications help with inflammation. Colchicine, this medication is especially helpful for preventing flares and treating acute episodes. If you experience recurrent flares, your doctor might also recommend utilizing low-dose colchicine long-term for prevention. Beyond traditional treatments, there are some natural and alternative approaches that may help. Diet and supplements. Magnesium, low magnesium levels can encourage crystal formation. Eating foods like spinach, almonds, and whole grains, or taking a supplement may help. Anti-inflammatory foods, omega-3 rich fish, turmeric, and antioxidant packed fruits like blueberries can help to reduce joint inflammation. Hydration, drinking plenty of water keeps your joints lubricated and may prevent crystal buildup. Lifestyle adjustments, Regular exercise strengthen the muscles around your joints, reducing strength and improving mobility. Weight management decreases joint stress, especially in weight-bearing joints like the knees. Other alternative therapies, acupuncture has been reported to relieve joint pain in some patients with CPPD. Orthobiologic treatments such as platelet-rich plasma and bone marrow concentrate therapy have not been studied for its benefits in CPPD. However, Pseudogout does accelerate the process of developing osteoarthritis in affected joints, and orthobiologic treatments can help with chronic pain in osteoarthritic joints. So there may be a role in those cases. Since pseudogout is often linked to other health issues, treating those can help prevent flares. If you have hypothyroidism or hyperparathyroidism, managing these conditions can slow crystal formation. For those with low magnesium or chronic kidney disease, addressing these deficiencies is crucial. Hemochromatosis or too much iron in the blood can also worsen pseudogout. Iron levels should be monitored closely in those cases. Preventing flares involves a combination of lifestyle changes and medical management. If you've had pseudogout once, you're at risk for more episodes. So stick with your doctor's plan for medications or supplements, Stay active and maintain a healthy weight. Avoid joint injuries, which can trigger a flare. While pseudogout can't be cured, with the right strategies, you can reduce its impact and stay in control of your life.
I hope this material gave you helpful insights into managing pseudogout and CPPD crystals. If you have questions or want to learn more, drop a comment below or visit us at Chicago Arthritis and Regenerative Medicine. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tips on joint health and wellness. Thank you for watching. Until we connect again, have a good day and live well.